So one of the things that I've been doing per the recommendation of my new therapist is to track when I start worrying about things because one of the things that I do uh, with my depression and anxiety is, especially with the anxiety part, I think of something and then I start to think of other things I'm worried about and it just kind of leads to this spiral. So she decided that I should track these thoughts as they occur. I'm not the kind of person that has pen and paper everywhere I go. I do have my phone wherever I go. So I looked around because I wanted to find an app that not only would record the date that I made an entry, but the time. And that would allow me to have multiple entries in a day, each with their own timestamp. And that if I went back and edited that entry to fix my spelling or whatever, it wouldn't automatically update the timestamp and to just leave the original timestamp as it was. So I found that, and this is not a sponsored post by any means, but the name of the app is called Day One, and I'll show you a little bit about what it looks like right now. So one of the fun things for customization is you can choose the color of the badge that's on here, which I did. So I, I made it very green and very noticeable. So you click on this, and the first thing it comes up with is the worry journal, which is what I, my therapist uh, and I kind of called it when I would write down the worrying thoughts I was having as I was having them. So as you can see, I have quite a few entries and for all of these days where I have multiple entries, like here on the 12th, you can see that there was an entry at 10.59 a.m., 10.40, and the first entry for the Sunday the 12th was at 6.33 a.m., which is fantastic. That gives me the overview that I want of everything. You can have multiple journals, which I do. I'm also keeping track of uh, pleasant memories and gratitudes. One of the other fun things about this is you can export your entries as a PDF file. A couple hours before, I'll go ahead and export it as a PDF and I'll send it to my therapist. And you can set the look and feel of it when you export. You can export all the entries in the journal, or for me, what I do is I just do the days that have passed since my last appointment with my therapist, so I'm not constantly sending her the same huge file over and over again. So this has been really helpful because we're starting to be able to track patterns uh, as far as what I'm worrying about, and it's also helpful to, to track, you know, how my sleep has been interrupted by some of these intrusive thoughts. But honestly, if you just need something that's gonna be with you all the time, right? Because your phone is with you all the time, just to track your anxiety, I think this might help. Until next time, I'm Ken. You take care of yourself and I will see you again soon.